So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to electrical circuits and show you how to build one. And there's a few components I want to show you first. So um, this here is our transformer. And our transformer is what pushes the electrical current around the circuit. Um, so it allows um, for the electrons to actually flow. Now, you'll notice on the transformer that there's a different amount of voltage, okay, which is basically how strong the push of electrons is going to be. And there's a DC and AC outlets. Now the DC outlet stands for direct current and that is what we will be using um, every time that we are doing electrical circuits um, in science. AC stands for alternating current. So basically the difference is that in, al in alternating current the electrons actually change directions, they sort of move like this, like backwards and forwards, um, whereas a direct current the electrons flow in one in one circuit in one direction and they don't change direction. So to start off with we always make sure that our power box is off okay and we usually start at a fairly low voltage and we can turn that up later if we need to. Then we have our wires. Now our wires are what we use to actually allow the flow of electrons so we need to have some sort of a conductor of, of electrical current and that's the wires. Um, the wires we attach into our, our DC power outlet. Now it actually doesn't matter, like red and red and black, the colours don't matter. All that matters is that they're um, a metal and that they are going to conduct the electricity for us. Okay, um, now other components we can include into our electrical circuit is our switch. So our switch um, will always start as open. So it's a break here between the metal parts. So that is keeping the circuit open, meaning the electrical current won't flow. As soon as the switch is pushed down and those metal parts touch, that's gonna complete the circuit. Okay, so by default, the circuit will always, when it's got a switch in it, um, be an open circuit. And then when we close the switch, we can see whether our circuit's working or the components in the circuit are working. We can have all sorts of different components in our circuit. So one of those things is a light bulb. Okay, so we've got a little bulb here and we're just gonna attach in to this. There we go. Okay, so we've got our light bulb that we can put in. We could put in something that makes some sound. So in this case, we've got a bell that we'll test out as well. Um, we can put in an ammeter. An ammeter measures the amount of current that is flowing around the circuit. And our voltmeter, that measures the amount of voltage that is um, in a circuit or around a particular component of the circuit. So let's now try and build a circuit. So as I mentioned before, you need to make sure that your power box is off to start with. You connect your first wires and decide what you're going to connect into next. So I'm going to put in the switch next. Okay, then I need another wire to go from the switch to a light bulb and I'm going to close off the circuit on this side here. So you can see I've got a really nice closed loop here with all the wires connected. The switch is keeping my circuit open right now so the light bulb is not working. Okay and I've got the voltage down low. So now I'm going to turn on my power pack. Okay now the voltage is a bit low here we can see that the light bulb is on but it's not particularly bright. So we can turn it up a little bit and then we can see that um, more voltage, more push of the electrons is giving us a brighter light here. Now the way that we would put an ammeter into this circuit is in the series, so within that same loop. So I'm going to show you that now. So first I'm going to turn this off to make any adjustments. Like I said before, it actually doesn't matter the colours of wires you use. I'm going to put the ammeter in here so that we can see um, how much current is flowing around our circuit right now. Okay. Alright, so power pack is on, close the circuit, and we see our light bulb is on, and we can see that the amount of current flowing through the circuit, um, it, you can read off the ammeter here. Now if we wanted to test the voltage, the voltage actually goes around a particular component in the circuit. So here we've got our light bulb. I'm going to put the voltmeter in, but it's going to go 
on either side of our light bulb. And you can see in the wires here, there's actually a little hole and that's how we can connect two wires together. So we can put one of them through the hole of the other. Okay, and then connect it in here, just like that. And we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, so it's a little bit getting harder to see the circuit right now, but we've got here, we've got our, our wires, we've got a switch, our ammeter, and then around the light bulb, we're, we're looking at the voltage. So if I close my switch and close the circuit now, um, we'll hopefully see the light turn on, the ammeter give us a reading of the current, and we'll also get a reading on our voltmeter. Okay, so there's our reading on our voltmeter. Now, um, a common question is, how do I know which set of numbers to read off my voltmeter? Okay, I'm just going to make the circuit stay on so that we can have a look at that more closely. Okay, so if you have plugged it in to see at the bottom here, it has a 20. If you plugged it into the 20, you're using the numbers on the top that read up to 20. So here we can see the voltage is around 11 and a half volts here. Okay, so we're reading from the top. If we had plugged it into the two, we would be reading the numbers at the bottom there. Okay, now that one goes off the scale. Um, so that tells us I've got it in the wrong spot. The voltage is much higher than two. Okay, so we need to bring it back over here and now we can actually read the voltage. So we use, we use the two if we're looking at something that would have a very small voltage, but here we've got something that's a little bit larger and so we need to use the 20 so that we can read from, from zero up to 20 volts.